uh, Andy's just testing the wind direction. The guys are getting ready to deploy the envelope. Here comes the truck, and uh, we're going to roll out the the balloon envelope. Fans to um, fill the envelope with air, cold air, just to get it up and off the ground. And um, here's a hot air balloon. You'll see how the hot air thing works in a second. Here comes our pilot, Carrie Crawley. As soon as the balloon inflates, we have to jump on board, so it's all, it all gets a bit hectic very, very quickly, as you'll see. We're about to jump in and you'll hear the captain say, come on! Here's Linda, looking excited. Once it um, gets full of hot air, it takes off really quickly. One minute it was on the ground, next minute it was up in the air, flying along, having a great old time. This is Long Stanton, famous for its uh, spice museum, according to Alan Partridge. Ha ha! <laughs> Interesting thing that finds at such low levels is you see all these strange patterns in the ground. Obviously, uh, signs of human habitation over the centuries, no doubt. We got up to about 2,000 feet and um, it was, we was in the cloud banks already. At the moment we're doing a 360 degree rotation so you can see all the surrounding countryside. I spot this windmill, which is not unusual in this part of East Anglia. There's quite a, a number of windmills dotted around the place. Okay, 
this is typical um, fenland, flat and featureless and um, you'll see that there's lots of uh, lakes dotted all around the place because it's basically um, a wetland environment and uh, most of these fields have been drained over the centuries and the flood defences keep the sea at bay um, because basically this is all below sea level for the last majority of it. But this is typical Fenland. largest sand castle built by elves in the middle of the night. Pretty cool, eh? Not really. It's actually uh, a gravel pit. flying over a traveller's site or a gypsy encampment, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're now quite famous, the travellers, because of all these TV shows. Hopefully people will understand their culture a little bit more. As you can see we've come down quite low now, we're just flying above the treetops, it's actually brilliant. It really is uh, the best part of the flight. We're um, coming into land and the pilot, Kerry, is um, looking for a suitable spot. Um, so yeah, this should get quite exciting pretty quickly. Can you see that quite building in the, in the distance? We don't want to land there, that's the sewage works. As you can see we're coming into land, we want to get to that over those trees, uh, into that field, um, but the pilot noticed some power lines so he has to boost us up a little bit and get over those and then we came down pretty sharpish. You're not allowed to film during landing but um, there's the skid marks of where we bounced across the field. It was pretty exciting, a lot of fun. We was all laughing, it was hysterical actually. <laughs> Here comes Andy with the trailer and uh, we're going to now pack this balloon away and uh, get it back on the trailer ready for him to take it off the field. The farmer was pretty, pretty cool about it, didn't care. This is where we landed and the farmer's back to work as if nothing's happened. Didn't bat an eyelid. <laughs> it was a great flight. Thanks for watching.